don't take Hillary's nomination for granted. Uh, tomorrow uh, is the last day of the primaries throughout the country. Uh, and California, with 450 delegate votes, is up for grabs. So is New Jersey, with a little over 100, and smaller amounts in North Dakota, South Dakota, New Mexico, and Montana. Uh, Hillary could lose most of those primaries. Uh, the last poll had her a bare two points ahead in California, with Bernie closing quickly. And she probably is going to lose North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, and she might well lose New Mexico. She'll probably win New Jersey. All this creates vulnerability for her. She will not have enough elected delegates to win the first ballot nomination for president at the convention of the Democrats in Philadelphia. In uh, Philadelphia, Will not have it. Uh, she'll be about two to 300 elected delegates short. Now, there are 712 superdelegates who are party committeemen, state committeemen, senators, governors, congressmen, and they can vote any way they want and they can switch their votes right up to the deadline. Now, right now, about 500 of them are saying they're for Hillary, and that will give her the ability to claim that she's clinched the nomination uh, tomorrow night. But in fact, it's not true. In fact, they could switch anytime they wanted to. And I could see a scenario where a couple of dozen of them, a couple of score, and then maybe a couple of hundred of them say that they're going to wait for Biden to come into the race and for Biden to indicate availability to do so. And then if Hillary's numbers implode, she does poorly tomorrow. She loses California. The Benghazi committee comes out with a report that excoriates her. The FBI comes out with a report maybe even recommending an indictment, which ultimately Obama won't do, but the report will stand. And if polling then shows her falling further and further behind Trump, and polling shows Biden beating Trump, I could see a scenario, far-fetched, but a scenario, where the superdelegates say, hey, wait a minute, we're not going to nominate someone who can't win this election, and that is Hillary. And the instrument of control, the undemocratic feature of the Democratic Party process, not true in the Republican Party, where the superdelegates can vote for whoever they want, which was originally the fix Hillary put in to guarantee her the nomination, could possibly take it away. If she's two or three hundred votes shy, and you need seven hundred, and there are seven hundred and twelve superdelegates, hmm, there might be enough there to deny her the first ballot nomination. And then all bets are off. I want to acknowledge my intellectual debt here to Douglas Schoen, who used to be my associate in the Clinton campaign and published a very prescient column in the Wall Street Journal uh, walking through a lot of this stuff. Thanks for watching.